Hello Galaxy Tab 7 Plus users uh, afternoon uh, if you want to have the multi window function and the flash bar service like the Galaxy Tab 8 Plus 0 first you need to uh, update your tab to Jollibean 4.1.2 the MF1 Russian firmware I'll show you After that, uh, flashing using Odin. Next is you flash the clockwork mode recovery using Odin. Uh, I use the MF1 version firmware because the ME1 uh, I noticed uh, extensive battery drain. And after you flash the clockwork mode, uh, you flash the deodex file in the clockwork mode. Uh, this one, this file, you need to flash it at clockwork mode recovery. Then, after that, you install the from a root to install the super root or super user so that you, you could root your phone or tab. Uh, in from a root, just uh, click, click from a root, then click Aragorn then press OK then reboot so that the super user will be installed then after this uh, you need to install the BCBox BCBox and the build prop editor first you need to install the BCBox installer Then after that the build prop editor uh, in the uh, XDA developers uh, they say you need to be in the DPI should be 134 but I use the default 160 uh, it's okay in my part uh, there's no uh, no issues then here click edit then at the bottom uh, type qemu dot hw dot main keys equals zero then save after saving you need to reboot then after this uh, the purpose of the uh, editing the build prop editor is after flashing v3 uh, so that here the below the bottom the back home and the recent apps will appear because if you don't edit after installing v3 it won't appear so in installing after installing v3 this one or installing not installing uh, after flashing v3 you flash v4 then after this uh, go to settings go to settings then click display uh, you noticed uh, the multi window is already checked, so you need to uncheck and check it again so that the flash bar will appear like this one. Uh, you'll get the the white one, but if you want the black one, you need to install the flash bar service that APK and install it at system apps, system then apps, then. Uh, override the original flash bar service or you have or you'll delete it then replace it with the APK this one system then apps here you get, uh, you get to have uh, delete the flash bar service then you need to offer or replace it you need to have the proper permission uh, if you're using ES file explorer just turn on the root explorer then the second one system uh, choose the RW so that you will have permissions then you can overwrite <coughs> then after that you will get your flashbar the black one the color so if 
installing this black flash button service you need to remove your lock screen because it will freeze your tab and also um, I don't know if there are fixes yet but for me and the GTP 6200 if you don't want to freeze your tab just uh, remove the lock screen and replace your TouchWiz launcher instead of uh, Samsung the TouchWiz replace it with either Apex um, mostly some use Apex but uh, others use Holo or Nova uh, it depends on you and next here in the notification don't press the old share cast because it will freeze your tab and you you install it again so here at the bottom the edit uh, I haven't have the but I haven't fixed it yet uh, the cascade view you can press the cascade view I don't know <coughs> I have yet to fix this but if you can uh, if you want to minimize this or if you want to back from the previous or what you're doing so just it's either if you press the notification so that it will minimize or after pressing that accidentally pressing that just um, make it a landscape after that uh, you'll find the center button then press down so um, after installing v4 uh, you can install the exposed exposed framework or exposed installer click install then click also the other modules the app settings the not the window apps manager, the play store fixes and exposed tweak box the exposed tweak box is if you want to change the color of your uh, uh, the color of your battery or the status bar uh, in play store fixes I install this because uh, there's no problem in google play store but uh, there's uh, I encountered a problem at black market so there they won't it won't search any application in multi window apps manager uh, it will it let you choose uh, which apps or icon to have the multi window function uh, like this one I'll show you this one That one uh, I checked all to have the multi window function. Uh, you notice uh, on the upper right you could minimize or you could maximize. Uh, the purpose for the pin on the upper left is to make the multi window uh, on top on top of another. So if you remove that, so it will be uh, over. Or replaced by the other one for the phone if you have encountered a problem in the phone or contacts um, what I did <coughs> was just go to uh, when you install your app settings to resolve this issue just go to app settings this one just change the DPI and resolution also so that it may yeah so that it will function after changing it uh, just reboot I'll show you uh, here just turn on the application settings here uh, your DPI change it to 176 and your screen DPI change it to 800-1280 after that save then reboot then after that your phone and contacts will 
<coughs> it will be okay and will function properly and next is um, I also install this one greenify to help my battery uh, <coughs> I didn't encounter any battery drain but I installed greenify to further increase my battery life and uh, what else if you want to have a tablet way just go to expose installer uh, check the expose tablet way and reboot so it's okay uh, this is not again this is not my work uh, <coughs> uh, this is from uh, the XDA developers you have to give credit to them <coughs> I hope you enjoy your new your phone or tab like what like I enjoyed for me it's working um, <coughs> perfectly except for this one the mini apps uh, I have yet to fix this uh, I'm still searching for solutions for these issues but I think it will be resolved earlier maybe after a few days uh, just look If you don't want to uh, have this uh, black uh, flash bar, uh, just don't overwrite. And um, I think it's okay. And also, if you want to install the Screenshot Pro, uh, <coughs> just use the Uh, just use this APK uh, if you want this I can give it to you because some other screenshot pro will not work uh, just go to uh, if you install this one you just go to settings and change the GPU to CPU then you're good to go <coughs> okay and I think that's it hope you enjoy All right.